Today I would like to talk to you about exploring chemistry-related linked open data using a tool called Scolia that is available under the URL scolia.toolforge.org. This poster can be found in Zenodo and it contains and links to a number of visualizations that have been generated using Scolia. So how does it work? Um, before creating a profile, we think about the kind of entity to pre profile and we think about questions you might ask about this kind of entity, so say a chemical compound. And then we translate those questions into database queries and we use the results that we get back from the database to generate those profiles. The database that we're using is Wikidata, which has been called the edit button of the semantic web because it's collaboratively created linked open data. Um, it is also one of the largest public knowledge graphs with currently 90 million entries and about 11 billion statements about them. Still it is far from complete, but anyone can contribute making it more complete in a certain area and about 20,000 users do so every month, which means it is growing quickly. It is in the public domain, it's multilingual, cross-disciplinary, findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. It's part of the, of the Wikimedia ecosystem and integrated with thousands of other databases, as well as used by major search engines and many other tools. In terms of chemistry, there are over a million entries for which Wikidata knows an inchy key. And the inchy key is one of about 8,000 properties that are available to describe Wikidata entities. About 100 of these are mainly there for chemistry. And uh, but a number of the others can also be used to describe chemical content. There is a dedicated community called Wikiproject Chemistry that oversees the curation of chemical content, which also means that uh, they oversee statements on the entry for the chemical compound as to which chemical class that compound belongs to or which biological pathway it uh, is involved in. And these statements are what makes those profiles interesting because since this is linked open data, this means that the compound then could show up on the profile for the class or for the pathway. Likewise, if there is an entry about a journal article, then this will have statements about which journal it was published in or who the authors were, what the topic was, which means that the authors and the journal could show up on the profile for the topic the topic and the authors could show up on the profile for the journal and the journal and the topic could show up on the profile for the researcher. Scolia is open source with the code on GitHub. Wikidata is open data and this poster is available openly on Zenodo. I encourage you to explore all of that and I'm looking forward to dig deeper in the poster session. Thank you.